This is Wilman Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed painter, poet, multimedia artist, Rahil Najafabadi. Rahil, so nice to finally meet you. Hi, Will. It's really nice meeting you too. I love that we're meeting and I love that when the audience gets to just see your incredible work with and through the links below this video, they will see that your trademark is exactly the truth of the matter. When you say that you create little canvases of love and kindness. Raheel, my first question that I've been dying to ask you for weeks is, where were you born and when did you realize that painting and poetry and art were something that you loved so much? Well, I was born in Tehran, Iran, and um, so very far away, but um, throughout my entire life, I've always been connected to art because of my mom, who's an art enthusiast and art collector, and uh, my culture, which is very concentrated in art and poetry, and I've always Grew up reading Hafez, Daddy, and Rumi, which a lot of people already know about. And um, growing up here in America and Connecticut also gave me another dimension to these things. So it was an interesting way of looking at art and poetry from two different perspectives. And I've tried to just accumulate all the different things that I can do with art and poetry and painting by just having as many perspectives as I can. And love and kindness is the most important thing to me. And that's how I capture it with my paintings and my poetry. That is so beautiful, Raheel. And we need love and Thank kindness you. now more than ever. I'm curious, were you able to create a lot during the past 18 months? Uh, yes, um, I'm pretty sure that almost everyone had a lot of time that they didn't know what to do. And it was a great time for me to kind of figure out what I want to do with my art. But as I was doing that, I was painting and writing a lot. I kind of thought about what I want to do once this is all over. And that's not really something that we can say definitely, but um, as we're kind of moving towards normalcy. I kind of have a better sense of what I'm looking for in my paintings and my poetry. And right now I'm really focused on the figure and kind of special objects that I really want to paint and write about. So I'm glad that I was able to kind of achieve that to know what I want to do. That's wonderful, Raheel. And as we look forward to a world that slowly is going to get back to some sort of normalcy, I'm curious for you as an artist, what you're most optimistic about, not only in terms of, you know, the art that you've yet to um, create. And by the way, this is my dog, Bella. She says hi. Um, but um, also what you're most optimistic about, you know, as people start seeing one another again and connecting again. Yes, yes. Uh, that's definitely one of the things that I'm really looking forward to. Um, art shows and being able to share my art again and not virtually, it's, it's so nice to be around people and to be able to have your art displayed and to just talk to people and in a room and I know that the masks are very helpful and no one has been really getting flus and all that, but just seeing one another and being able to create art with people. So portraits and figure paintings, that's what I'm really looking forward to because that's something that no one has really been able to do because of the pandemic, because we've been distanced from each other. And that's what I'm looking forward to and to have a poetry reading people who would enjoy it. So those are two things that I'm really hoping to do. That's amazing. Well, my dogs are over here barking. They love you, Raheel. And I have loved researching you these past I love few them too. Years. And I'm so grateful now to have met you. And I just want to let our audience know for more on the amazing Raheel, you can read more about it right below this video. Raheel, from me and my dogs, it was so nice meeting you.